All right, so here we are in our 6155, and we're gonna start with installing our Topcon AES 35 electric steering wheel. And so we're gonna walk through that process, starting with the removal of the factory steering wheel. So prior to beginning in any installation, always make sure you read and follow and understand the install guide. These come with every kit, and these walk through the, the entire procedure from start to finish. So make sure you, you have this handy to answer any questions that that'll come up. The first step in our electric steer installation is we have to remove the factory steering wheel. So to, to start with that, we'll take a flathead screwdriver, simply remove the center cap with the Deutz Far logo, set that to the side. We'll take a 13 millimeter wrench, loosen the first retaining nut that holds the center hub cap on, slide the center hub cap off, set it to the side as well. And then now we have the, the main locking nut exposed. So to remove that, we need a 27 millimeter deep well socket. Slide it over and then simply break it loose. Remove that nut, set it to the side. At this point, the steering wheel will lift off of the column. If it's stuck, just simply apply a little pressure, or if needed, you can take a rubber hammer, and while applying some back pressure, just gently tap on the steering wheel spokes, and the wheel will release. All right, so our next step in our AES 35 installation is actually the assembly of the steering wheel itself. So this is our electric steering wheel, our AES 35, and on the back, we've already assembled our anti-rotation brackets to fit this model of tractor. These brackets can mount in a variety of different ways using different mounting holes and com position configurations. And this allows us to fit pretty much virtually any type or size shape of steering column across most manufacturers. So we've already got our anti-rotation brackets put in kind of where we need them. We're, we're leaving them loose just for our final assembly in the tractor. All right, and the last piece that, that we need to put in this steering wheel is our spline adapter. Um, this is what physically connects our electric steering wheel to the tractor itself. And these are make model specific. So ensure that, that you have the right spline adapter to match your make and model of tractor. So to assemble this, we simply just drop it in the back side of our steering wheel with the flange side facing up. And then we're gonna Bolt it in with the supplied with the supplied hardware. All right, so now that we've got our mounting assemblies completed on the back of our electric steering wheel, now we're just going to simply slide it down over our spline shaft. And for this application, we've got our harness plug locations situated on the top of the steering column and our power switch here on the side. This is just gonna allow for much easier access when we run our cabling a little later, as well as it's gonna keep our entry and exit way clear so we're not gonna hit our knees or, or really hinder ourselves at getting in and out of the tractor. So now with our anti-rotation brackets, the way these are positioned for this steering column, we're just going to close them down as tight as we can around the column and then we'll take our allen wrench and we'll tighten up tighten up each allen screw make sure everything's good and tight using all the supplied hardware making sure that we have all of our lock nuts in place and that once we get all those on and tight we're going to take our factory nut and we're going to drop it down into the column here and we're going to Get it started. We'll take our 27 millimeter socket again, slide right down in, and tighten it up. Take our ratchet. And now our steering wheel is mounted to our column. 